Zoe Deschanel is a woman of many trades. Over the course of her storied career, she's dabbled in everything from acting and producing to writing and singing. What else is there to know about her? This is the story of her stunning transformation. Deschanel was born into a household of entertainment professionals. Her mom, Mary Jo, is an actress. Her dad, Caleb, is a cinematographer. And her older sister, Emily, also grew up to grace the big and small screens. Caleb told The Hollywood Reporter in 2014, From a very early age, our daughter Zoe wanted to crawl into The Wizard of Oz and be in that movie. She's always been that way. He also mentioned that both of his daughters were pretty fearless from a young age. At the age of around 12 or 13, they would get up and perform in front of 2,000 people and not even feel nervous. It's no wonder then that Zoe Deschanel went on to pursue entertainment. She began starring in movies with 1999's Mumford and dropped out of college to pursue her acting career. It wouldn't be long until she reached the level of full-blown stardom. The Cameron Crowe-directed film Almost Famous gave Deschanel's burgeoning career a jolt into hyperdrive. She's forever immortalized as the flight attendant older sister of William, the main character. One day, you'll be cool. While Deschanel had already begun acting a few years before Almost Famous's release, this would prove to be her first big breakout performance. Released in 2000, when Deschanel was just 20 years old, it wasn't a huge hit at the box office, though it did go on to become a critical and fan favorite. Looking back on the early years of her career, Deschanel told InStyle in 2018, I was just really lucky that I have really good parents, and because they were in the business, I kind of went into it with a very down-to-earth sensibility. I was lucky that way, so I don't look back on my younger years and think, oh my gosh, I was so crazy. While she may be mostly known for her quirky humor, Deschanel has shown a willingness to take on characters across a variety of genres. From horror to drama, it hasn't been all giggles for her. One notable early role was an 18-year-old virgin in the 2003 drama All the Real Girls, which she discussed with Venice Magazine the year it came out. Generally, most of the characters I do are somehow me, just maybe me at a different moment. Sometimes it's the me who's alone, you know? Because nobody ever sees that person who's alone. It's like the me driving in my car alone. Nobody ever sees who that person is. You can see just how diverse Deschanel's acting chops really are by scanning through her filmography. She's been in M. Night Shyamalan's eco-horror flick The Happening, the coming-of-age fantasy adventure Bridge to Terabithia, and the stoner fantasy comedy Your Highness. Just to name a few. And of course, who can forget the iconic rom-com 500 Days of Summer? Clearly, there's a lot more to Zoe Deschanel than just being adorkable. I hardly think I'm Sid Vicious. No, I'm Sid. While Almost Famous gave Deschanel an early burst of fame, it was her role in the 2003 family holiday favorite Elf that really solidified her status as a household name. Starring alongside Will Ferrell in the Jon Favreau-directed comedy, she really got to show off her comedic timing as well as her singing chops. Elf was a huge hit, and it has since become one of the most beloved Christmas films of all time. It earned a whopping $220.4 million at the worldwide box office. So it's no wonder that it sent Deschanel's star into orbit. The actress told in style in 2018, I definitely didn't realize how iconic it would become until it started playing every year. And then I thought, oh, when you have something good that's a holiday thing, it comes back every year. I was 21 when I made that movie, so I didn't really have a lot of perspective on anything. All I know is when I read that script, I was laughing out loud the entire time, and I felt like it was something that was special. In addition to acting, Deschanel has also made a name for herself as a singer. Her love of music started early, but it wasn't until she formed the group She and Him in 2006 with fellow musician Matthew Ward, who goes by M. Ward, that her singing career really took off. Deschanel and Ward's paths first crossed on the set of the indie film The Go-Getter. While working on the soundtrack for that movie, she told NPR, It wasn't until I met Matt that I really felt like I had found just the right person to work with on this stuff. With multiple records under their belts, She and Him have received plenty of love from both critics and fans. Deschanel isn't in the record-making business because she wants to reach a new level of fame. Instead, she's in it for the love of music. She told Pitchfork in 2008, I don't really have so much interest in being a star in this format. I just really enjoy playing music. When it comes to her personal life, Deschanel is known for a few rocky romances. Her first marriage was to Death Cab for Cutie frontman Ben Gibbard. The pair were introduced by their mutual music manager. They got engaged in 2008 and married the following year but their union was short-lived as they announced in 2011 that they were separating, with the divorce becoming finalized in 2012. A few years later, Deschanel was introduced to her future second husband, film producer Jacob Bachenik, on the set of the 2015 comedy Rock the Casbah. The pair got engaged in 2015 and married shortly after. They went on to have two children together, but in September 2019, they announced that they were separating. A rep for the pair gave a statement to People magazine that said, after much discussion and a long period of contemplation, we have decided we are better off as friends, business partners, and co-parents rather than life partners. Aside from acting, singing, and writing, 
Deschanel has also found success as an entrepreneur with her women's general interest website Hello Giggles. She launched the site in 2011, along with her friends and colleagues Sophia Rossi and Molly McAleer. Covering everything from beauty, entertainment, news, and relationships, the site bills itself as a positive community for women. The founders wanted to create an environment free of negativity. So we, we created a system so that, that um, yeah, anything mean said gets immediately um, taken off or voted down. <laughs> Apparently, the positive vibes that Hello Giggles encouraged stood out to Time Inc. as the media behemoth purchased the site in 2015. Rumor has it that the acquisition price was somewhere around a whopping $30 million. When the deal was announced, Deschanel stated, With Time Inc. as our partner, we'll be able to expand the Hello Giggles mission and inspire and support even more young women with a safe and positive media platform. Bangs are possibly one of the most divisive hairstyles of all time. But there's one thing we can say for sure about them. Zoe Deschanel's name is synonymous with the style. The actress was known early on in her career for changing her look with each new character she played which she talked about with Venice Magazine in 2003. The chameleon thing, somehow I have something about me, I never even realized it. That looks incredibly different if I change my hair color or my haircut or my makeup or my clothes. I look like a totally different person. Deschanel wrote about her hair for Glamour 2013, explaining why she committed to her brunette locks and bangs a long time ago. When I first got into acting, I was a bit of a chameleon and just wasn't recognizable. So I used my look to help create an identity. Now people know me as the girl with bangs. They're not for everyone, but they work for me." On September 20, 2011, Fox premiered the sitcom New Girl, starring Deschanel as bubbly 30-something teacher Jessica Day. It was created by Liz Merriweather and based on her own experiences surfing on Craigslist from sublet to sublet. It followed the foibles of Jess and her three new male roommates in a loft apartment in Los Angeles. Merriweather discussed the casting of Deschanel with New York Magazine back in 2011, confessing, "...I didn't think I could find someone as weird as I am." Really? I don't look like a pirate bride. Millions of viewers are grateful that Meriwether was indeed able to find that perfect quirky somebody. As a fearless career chameleon, Deschanel accepted the challenge of moving to the small screen despite having to deal with some doubters. In a 2018 interview with Newsweek, she revealed, "...when I decided to do New Girl, these people were like, oh, you're doing television? It was kind of looked down upon to do television if you were a movie actor. My thought was it's an opportunity to make funny content, and it's not really about the length." Not only did Deschanel star on the show, she also wrote and performed the theme song. She was also nominated for an Emmy and won a Critics' Choice Award. New Girl ultimately ended up running for seven seasons, wrapping up in 2018. During Deschanel's relationship with her second husband, Jacob Achenik, she became a mother to two kids. Her daughter, Elsie Otter, was born in 2015, just months after she and Pachenik tied the knot. Her son, Charlie Wolf, followed shortly after in 2017. Deschanel discussed the topic of motherhood with Redbook in 2016, saying, I've never really felt like an adult, but I think it's a huge accomplishment to have a child. So maybe I feel like an adult for that reason. Since her kids have arrived, she's taken a very hands-on approach to being a mother. She told InStyle in 2018, I'm driving my kids to every class, every day. I'm there with them all the time. It's actually rare that I'm not with them. I try to be there as much as humanly possible. Unsurprisingly, her children are her top priority in her life. As she told People Magazine in 2017, My kids are absolute number one. I know that's the truth for most people. What do you think that will do to her, seeing mom be a Disney princess? At least it will prove to her that I'm a singer and she can't tell me to stop singing. Oh. Which is what she does all the time. Even though Deschanel is plenty busy with her acting and music careers, she still makes time for giving back. It was notably revealed in her divorce filing from Ben Gibbard that she donated $1,500 to charities every single month. Since having her own children, she's focused on giving back to other kids. Working with Huggies and the charity Baby to Baby, She's donated millions of diapers to people in need. She told the Huffington Post in 2017, "...it's an absolute bottom-line basic need, and you shouldn't have to choose between diapers and food or diapers and clothes. It should be something that's a given." Deschanel has also worked alongside such organizations as Stand Up to Cancer, the Alliance for Children's Rights, and the Alzheimer's Association. She wants to carry her passion for philanthropy onto the next generation. So instilling a volunteer spirit in her children is a priority for her. She told HuffPost, it's really important to teach your kids at a young age to volunteer, and how to help raise money and raise awareness. Deschanel's seven-season foray on New Girl and her journey into motherhood may have put her film career on a bit of a hiatus, but it doesn't look like she's planning on slowing down her acting career anytime soon. When Deadline asked her in 2018 what was next for her future, film or TV, she replied, quote, both, everything. When choosing what parts to take on, she does have some parameters. She told In Style in 2018, I'm just looking for something that would be exciting and fulfilling for me." She also mentioned how much her children factor into her decisions, adding, 
I'm really focused on them, so I want to make sure that whatever I do next is really good. It has to be really good for me to leave them. With motherhood and charity work on her plate in addition to her career, she's clearly keeping busy. We can't wait to see what this multi-talented star dreams up next. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.